Rory Mack. Make some noise, my dear. Wake up, make some noise. Children of God, make some noise. Why, why, why? How y'all feeling? Hey, how y'all doing? You know you want to do it. Come on. Come on, you better get over with me. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. Come on, get over with me. Get over with me. Come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, my goodness. I saw two different reactions in the room when I started doing that. The new running man. Now just so y'all know, I'm 39 years old, so I'm not a little boy. All right, all right? So I'm speaking from experience. I noticed the kids was like, oh, that. And I saw everybody over 35 go, oh, here we go with that new running man. Oh, no, no. Now listen, I'm all for making fun of dances that the kids do nowadays, but listen, don't make fun of the new running man if you can't do the old running man no more. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I always say people say, like, I don't like the new running man. I'm like, do the old running man. They be like, just watch it, YouTube, just watch it. <laughs> all right. Uh, my name is Corey Mack, man. Um, I'm originally from New Orleans. Uh, make some noise if you've been to New Orleans before. Uh, I, I know y'all don't hear it in my accent. I lost my accent when I was six years old. Me and my family, we moved to California for a few years. That's why I learned how to speak English, you know. That's what I learned. But we moved back to New Orleans, man. Um, uh, when, I, when I hit high school, uh, joined the military and all that stuff, and I got married when I was in Marines, and uh, I, uh, now, don't, now hold on, don't be clapping now, don't be saying thank you for your service. Remember I told you I'm 39. That means when I joined, I joined in 94. That means I ain't joined to fight for nobody freedom, I joined to get out of my mama house. <laughs> I was like, who I got to shoot, I don't even care, shit. He's sick of these dishes, she be fussing for nothing. Busted. Drill instructor was like, oh, my yellow ass. I was like, you really love me. <laughs> uh, but when I got, when I was in the Marines, man, um, I got married um, to a woman who's from Finland, right? My wife is from Finland. And uh, she had never really met anybody really from New Orleans. Like, when I say, you know, like, I'm from there, but you know what I'm saying. I'm talking like my mama, mama, like my mama from New Orleans. <laughs> like my mama, 1970s Calio Project New Orleans. <laughs> My mama say, yes indeed, baby. <laughs> and yes, and if you ain't from the Orleans, you don't know which way she mean it. <laughs> Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can walk up to a lady and, she, and you want to be interested in her. You be like, hey, how you doing, boo? If she ain't interested, she look at you like this. She go, yes indeed. <laughs> Wait, that mean yes or no? What that mean? What that mean? Yes or no? I don't know what to do. I don't know what should I I'm trying to double the dust off. You talking about roll too fast. All right, so, um, so, so when, my, when my wife and my mom met, right? Yo, that was such a cool experience, man. This is how we I said, Mom, I said, I want you to meet my, my wife from Finland. I said, my wife from Finland, I want you to meet my mom. And this is what my mom did. My mom looked at her. My mom looked at me, and she looked at her. And she said, yes indeed, baby, go ahead. And walked off like this. <laughs> and then she had, look, look, she had just got her little ponytail in, so she would hit it, she go like. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife, my wife was like, oh, your mama just walked away, she don't like me. I said, girl. My mama just said she think you're a beautiful woman and clearly I've been in more spiritual and experience ever since we met. <laughs> oh, like when you got all of that out of that, I said, yeah. Oh, I don't know how you ain't understand that. 
Now his was really funny. Now my little brother walked up, right? Now my little brother, now he a little, he a little sporty. I'm gonna use the word sporty because I don't really like when they say the word thug when cats, when the kids are wearing their pants a little below their booty. That's not thuggish. That's just bad fashion. That's not gangster. That's just bad fashion, right? So and and, and like just so you know, like my little brother pants me, he, he sagged so low, like when he tried to cross Canal Street in New Orleans, it take him about 20 minutes. <laughs> Cause like when the light changed and he could go, right? He started going. <laughs> then the light changed, so he got to get back up on the curb. <laughs> but look, but look, but look, look. You know what's crazy? Ain't it crazy though? In some parts of the world, or at least in America, they're trying to make that against the law. I'm like, come on, man, that's not really a real crime. I'm like, that's a fashion crime. <laughs> so I don't think regular police should handle that. I think they should have like a special forces unit. Like a platoon of in the closet police. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they walk around with a little bag of glitter and like a little ruler. And if you sagging too low, they're like, oh, do it right. <laughs> A unicorn. So my little brother, right? So anyway, so he walk up, right? He walk up to him. He look at me. He look at her. He look at me. He look at her. He go, you want that shoe? Say yeah. He said, yo, that's my brother right there. He be on them girls. He walked off. I was like, oh no, he didn't say anything nice. I said, girl, he just said the same thing my mom said. He thinks you're a beautiful woman and clearly we've been living more spiritually and eating well since <laughs> taking showers. I said, everything he just said. You know that? <laughs> now here's the deal. I didn't understand why my wife can't understand my mom and my dad, my little brother from New Orleans. I understand them. <laughs> now here's the crazy part. My wife can understand reggae music. Yeah, I hear some of y'all, what? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, listen, I know Jamaicans, like my friends. I'd be like, yo, what that dude just said? He said, me think he make something up. I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said. Like one day we're in a club. This is what happened, y'all. We're in a club. We're in a reggae club with a DJ going. <laughs> But the run setting for the people out there, I mean, one share this one go for all the people out there. Call me all 
sorts of bad names. I said, see, I ain't thirsty, boo. Look at that. Uh, I'm, um, I haven't had television in uh, 10 years either. I haven't had television. Um, I don't want y'all to think I'm like pretentious. It's not because I read books either. I don't do either one. I just don't have a television because my wife said I'm too ignorant for TV. She said, because I don't know the difference between what's real and what's fake. She said, I can't tell the difference. I said, prove it. She said, let's go to the beach. I said, girl, you talking about Shark Week. I ain't about to go to no beach. Shark Week, no, indeed, no. Shark Week on the Discovery Channel, and sharks is biting people, huh? <laughs> She's just like, not in the Gulf of Mexico, that don't even make no sense, that's right. She's like, listen, there are other things that you don't even probably know about that's more dangerous than sharks. I said, let me <laughs> Google it, right? <laughs> Y'all. I find out coconuts is killing more people than sharks. <laughs> man, I was scared to death, man. I was like, oh my God, how come coconuts don't get their own week on the Discovery Channel? <laughs> like, can you imagine how that would go? They'd be like, coming this summer on Coconut Week. <laughs> the last thing you'll ever hear. That's the only reason I grab this bush, you don't even know. <laughs> oh man. Don't mess with the TV, man. Don't mess with um, it. Y'all ready for the zombies? See why I can't have a TV. See what I'm trying to tell y'all. See that? Uh, See what I'm trying to tell you, like, I think zombies is here. Most people don't think they, they don't believe me. Remember about five years ago, y'all? They said somebody ate somebody's face in Florida. How long was it? A year or two ago? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> she up here like, I don't even believe you. He looked like he lied. Two years. <laughs> Years ago, they said somebody would say, Y'all know I'm real. Somebody ate somebody's face. The news talking about that's bath salts. I use bath salts when I'm in the tub. Them things make me feel soft and moist. <laughs> I don't ever want to eat nobody's face when I'm on bath salts. When I'm on bath, when I got bath salts on my skin, I'll be like, mm. <laughs> That's how I feel. So when I heard that, y'all, I was like, I don't know. I think this, I ain't saying government conspiracy. I'm just saying the zombies is coming. And just so y'all understand, like I was a little, like I'm slim, see, like I'm not a big dude. I'm only five foot eight inches, five foot nine when I'm next to somebody five foot seven, all right? <laughs> and like, I was a little, I was a little, like I had a little belly just right here. Like no more fat on, no more on my body, just right here. And listen, I, I used to look like a pregnant lesbian. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Like, and I know this because me and my wife had some gay friends and we were at a house party of theirs and I was just standing with my wife talking and one of the gay guys walked up and rubbed my belly talking about, oh my God, congratulations, honey. <laughs> so check it out, so listen. So when I found out like the zombies was coming, I was like, I don't know if I'm ready zombies because you understand I know most people think like what you would what, what, like what being out of shape have to do with zombies I'm like listen 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 I know what y'all thinking y'all watch the movies where the zombies move like this
know, we from Louisiana, everybody know how to twerk. So you ain't scared of the thing up here, you gonna be like, ah, he can't get me, he can't get me, he can't get me. <laughs> He can't get me out. 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 Wow. <laughs> you know somebody gonna do it. You know somebody gonna do it. You know one person gonna be twerking in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. He can't get me out. He can't. All right, so check it. So, but listen, I want y'all to understand, man. You have to get it. You have to be in good shape when the zombies come here because eventually, man, the zombie will make it to. They gonna make it to Kenya. Listen, man, Kenyans, they've been winning marathons for 20 years, y'all. You ain't, you gonna have to be in shape to get out away from a Kenyan zombie. Soon as they get bitch, coming. In your grades, put them in my mouth. Delicious. You have to be in good shape to get away, man. So what I started doing, y'all, I started like, like, started doing a little, little exercise and trying to eat a little bit better, get everything together, because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be ready to outrun these zombies. Now I wasn't sure if I was really ready, so what I started doing is going to different gyms and I try to exercise next to who look like they the most in shape to see if I'm like ready. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do what they doing. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Y'all, I went to the gym about three weeks ago. I realized I wasn't ready. I walked in and they had this, this lady. Yo, she, she went in and she got on her treadmill, y'all. She started her treadmill off on level eight. See, some of y'all already know that's a monster. You're supposed to get on a treadmill like this. Thank you, level three, exactly. You already know. You go, doo, doo, doo. You start calling, you start walking, you get, your, you get your phone out, you take a picture. Post it on social media. 2016, I'm getting in. Zombie apocalypse. Get your playlist together. All right. Get your knees going. Then you ready to work out. You go level five. All right. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah. I'm getting it. Yeah. All right. I'm almost done. Let me speed it up to seven. Push it. Push it. she started off on? Eight. Eight. Somebody gonna make up nine. Look at you, stop it, stop lying. <laughs> this is what happened. That means she went to her treadmill like this, y'all. Yo, all of a sudden, yo, like her thing just start transforming. Yo, this thing done turned, 
like a tree don't pop out of it with a rope. They got zombies next to hers talking about renew your membership. <laughs> I said, I gotta do it. Boom, I hit the red button, my thing went up. My thing started doing it too, y'all. I went to run and jump to catch the rope. Man, she pushed me off my treadmill, y'all. I said, yo, what's up? She said, I've been training for the zombies too, punk. I said, oh. So the last few days, I've been thinking of something else to get us ready for the zombies, y'all. I've been thinking of something else to get us ready for the zombies. This is my little timer, so I know where I'm at. That's been 20 minutes already. Make some noise for that said, huh? 20 minutes so far. So check this out. This is what I realized we need to do if we want to get ready for the zombies, y'all. We can do this as a society. We gotta come together and we gotta start burying people in roller skates. <laughs> Hear me out. When the zombies come back, think about it. If they got roller skates on, think about how it's gonna go down. It's gonna be like this. When the zombies come back, it's gonna be like this. I remember you're gonna have skates on, right? It's close to midnight. Something he was lurking from the dark. Another moon. Like, it's even that it's almost got your heart. You got to sing in the room. And then we can be like, wah, 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 Organized. 
it'd be like an office day, you know, and I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna get my, 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 you know, I ain't gonna fry, I'm a little too ghetto just to be letting somebody put something in my mouth and I eat it, I'm like, oh, I don't know where your hands been. Actually, I do know where your hands been. That's my cracker. You know what? I don't know what the jokes I don't get to tell this story because I do comedy clubs and I'm opening up to y'all. Let me let me enjoy it. Have one with y'all. <laughs> oh, I never said it all loud. So we go in there to be born. So one day, you know, because you know, and, and, and go to church, you know, sometimes churches will invite and make a call for people to come from other churches to come to their church, right? And when I when I found that out. I was like, I wonder what would happen if my Southern Baptist grandmother came over to the Catholic Church for, for a Sunday. Cool, some of y'all are already going, oh no, this boy too stupid, I know. I was eight, don't blame the grown up me. I'm gonna tell you what happened, I was eight years old. So this is what happens, we get, we get in there, right? And right in the middle of communion, like actually about five minutes before communion, again, grandma gave me a little piece of gum, I was like, I I don't know if she know the devil. No. She giving me gum. I don't know if grandma know this is this ain't Southern Baptist Church. This is a Catholic church, but okay, I'm gonna eat the gum and see what happens. <laughs> Wonder what's gonna happen. And then he was doing that communion, you know, everybody's taking their step. And they're playing the keys, you know. You know, that, that, that music that, that, that scare you, sound like a horror movie music. <laughs> it's not like bad pop music. Like, I used to be waiting every Sunday. I used to, go, I used to be waiting on Count Dracula to come on and be like, <laughs> One scene, two scenes, three scenes. Ha, ha, ha. going on, right? And then I see my grandma, but all of a sudden the keys, I was like, the keys is hitting her. <laughs> you feel it? I was like, not really. You feel it? I don't think I should. You feel it? I don't know, grandma, this is a You feel it? I don't know, grandma, you feel it? I feel it, I feel it. I... And she got in the middle of the line in Camellia, y'all. She cutting up that, boom! She hit the ground again. She just, uh, uh, give it to me, give it to me, Lord. Lord, let me open like a pancake. Boom! She doing her thing, doing her thing. Yo, they didn't miss a beat. They just went, My grandma was on the ground, right? She was on the ground. She was on the ground. She was feeling it, and they stepped over, and then the priest walked up and said, Ah, we, we, don't, we don't do it like that there. <laughs> and my grandma was like, Lord, I'm so embarrassed. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then my grandma looked at me because I was like this. <laughs> I was like, that was me with the winning number, 666, Grandma. I was like, Grandma, whip my booty. I'm gonna make the 666 part up because of that ticket thing. I wanted to address that at the beginning of the show. Uh, whoever it was that had 666, I'm so glad you lost. I was like, hey, you couldn't have picked a better place to put a loser in a room and y'all be like, get him out of here. Who was number 666? And if you are still in here, 666, you know what, I'm gonna give you props. You must love the Lord morning, you love the hundred dollars. Cause I'm gonna be honest, my grandma, the one that, my grandma, the one that was on the ground, she a little, she, not, she remember, she a little New Orleans, a little super New Orleans girl. And she loved the Lord, make no mistake, but my grandma would've got up. When that 666 got called, she just said, Jesus know my heart, baby, I'm just. <laughs> Drop this for y'all. Check this out, man. Uh, 
I know there's a lot of stuff happening, right? A lot of stuff happening, a lot of racial stuff happening, man, right? I'm gonna address it. Um, here's what I do. I don't, I don't argue about stuff. You know what I do? I, I go straight to the solution when there's a problem. Solution. So like they say, the cops been going a little buck wild, right? I say, you know what? I'm gonna outsmart them. I'm gonna outsmart them. So you know what I do, y'all? I got a converse with the American flag on them. I outsmart them. That's right. So they'd be like, hey, get out of the car, boy. I'd be like, foot first, boom. <laughs> they'd be like, hold on, boys, don't shoot. <laughs> Them colors don't bleed. <laughs> and they don't run. My name is Corey Mack. Thank y'all for letting me share.